Mercenary Field in Chirac, Illinois is the setting for today's MFL action. The historic site is where aliens first made contact with Earth, landing their spaceships inside the stadium and demanding a lifetime supply of Italian beef sandwiches. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The Carcass City Creeps take on the Midway Mutants. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hogan, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me. And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. <laughs> Pow! With the brain scrambler! And it's first and ten. You gotta love a player who goes down fighting. And it's first and ten. Was stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. He got rid of it out of bounds. That's better than throwing a pick, I suppose. down and ten. That was a good throw. And assuming he was aiming for the ground. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. They just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. The ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. First and goal. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot. 
a six yard gain on that catch. And that'll be second down and four. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And he runs it in for the touchdown! Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. It's first and ten. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Third down and nine. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. First and ten. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. Second down and a lot. Why don't you put a cork in that gravy make of yours, huh? Hey, I'm dying up here. And that catch will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. With a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. First and four. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Man, he's dancing like a zonked out jam band enthusiast. Oh, that's how he spends his entire off season. Yeah. <laughs> 
And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. And like a monkey truck. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. And that one's incomplete. The receiver couldn't get there. And yeah, neither could his mother. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Third down and six. Hot. Hot one. Oh, and he just turns and it's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense, he's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Oh, man. The offense called a murder ball. Did a little on the nose. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but... Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite, Dave, because he's the one who just got wiped out. Oh, and the defense just called a time warp dirty trick. And now it's like everything that just happened didn't. Get Brick's mom on the phone, quick. I want to use 13,000 of those time warps, and I'm doing mistakes she did about 35 years ago. Second down and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't. I thought the only tie we'd see would be a noose. Instead, they're in a dead heat. Tie game at the end of one. Third and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot eight. Oh, big catch. Big run. Big touchdown. And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. Third down and and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say we're mad as hell and not gonna take it anymore. And it's 
First and ten. You can't keep a good mutant down. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. And he punched his way out. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And that player has one speed. He's the full. He can go all the way. I never looked that good dancing. And I have skin. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. Mm, it helps. Believe me. Boom! First and ten. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. Second down and ten. He's not going down. And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. You can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me. Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, Grim. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Great chance for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated, and I'm a team agnostic. Third down and ten. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a combo, was it, Holmes? <laughs> First and ten. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay with. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can see that, Grim. Oh, you ever do that again, Bricks, I'll shoot you in the head. But people like it. <laughs>
Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And he just slipped away like a green. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Turner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They had the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kick off into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. Yeah, man, I was hanging on the pedal now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> First and ten. <laughs> that gets me every time. Like a jack in the box, Bricks. You never know when one of those hot potatoes is gonna blow. You just crap your pants, Junior. Two minutes remain in the half. Great! I gotta take a dump! Again? You just went. How is that even possible? Ah! It's the nachos, man. Want some? Five yard gain on that pass play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, grabbing himself in the privates. Hey, he should do it all at the same time. Now, that would be worthy of a jumbotron shot. Yeah, nice observation, Briggs. Great color. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a grease turkey. And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And it's first and ten. Timeout to stop the clock. And it's first and ten. The QB 
save some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? Ah, another interception. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He can have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about? And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out during halftime. And that'll bring up second and one. a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. Up the quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Bricks' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know. Oh, he just got crushed. Man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And it's first and ten. Second down in a mile. It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, during the half, can you pick me up with soil and beer? The teams come out of halftime all tied up and ready to battle it out. Oh, jeez, Grim, I hope someone ties them soon. They gotta play football. <laughs> Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Second down and ten. That pass play nets them seven yards. Oh, no. I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get rid of them again? You stick your head in a plastic bag, say the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. It ought to stop them. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Oh, no good. Now that punter's going to find a no return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, 
Oh, with the brain scrambler. Third down and nine. lost another running back and only to remain on their roster when a team loses all their running backs they lose their ability to run the ball and like if they rip out your tongue you won't be able to speak do us something we don't know genius don't do anything stupid here just punt the damn ball and play defense and he got it off that's a decent punt He's got the ball, and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. And with another pick, the QB... Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. And viewers at home, don't worry, he doesn't have fleas. He's just not a very good dancer. I have fleas, and I can't dance. I would uh, think you to stay on the other side of the booth, Bricks. <laughs> oh, nice time warp dirty trick called by the D, and the offense is pissed. <laughs> oh, for you kids at home, that's how you play mutant football. Hey, wait a minute. What the? Ah, did they? Didn't they just? Uh, am I losing my mind, or did that play that I saw just not happen? I gotta stop smoking them on tiny laundry pods. And that'll bring up second and one. This guy's a brick shit house. Man, he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. First down. And it's first and ten. of about three on that play. Second down and seven. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Well, they say humans are the best dancers. Well, we invented dancing. Really? I thought it was demons. No, it was a human possessed by a demon. Don't 
don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. Uh, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Brick. It means he can return it for it. You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. The defense has the receivers covered well. That's a three-yard gain. Up. Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot! That's why we love the MFL! Second down and seven. Gives up five yards there. And that'll bring up third and one. First down! And this guy is... Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! First and ten. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit them. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. Second and three. And he was stuck to him like glue. Third down and three. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? <laughs> the offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Ben? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! Third down, and, and they've had enough! The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref! needs a miracle. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his Sleeties this morning. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. We're tied up at the end of the third quarter. You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man. Junior, was that you? Hey, blow me. The defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Second down and nine. Sandwich. And it's first and ten. Uh, 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 
Lord. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. Second down and a lot. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. Third down and long. And he catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on MFL Game Day. Uh, MFL is in its good. You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good. Huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. It's first and ten. Oh, the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick. That'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose. Unless you're in a sleeping contest. And it's first and ten. for a first down to keep the drive alive. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Slice its way through any defensive player, and that is caught for a first down. First and four. At this point, with multiple interceptions. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. <laughs> and it's first and ten. There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. Oh man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. Oh my god, a man from prison just came out of the field! That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. The offense lost their final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. Yeah, look at them survive so much bad luck, carnage, and death, Grim. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Oh, what a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And they call a ginormous dirty trick. They 
That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and oh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet jet. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? First and ten. The defense called a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, but it keeps coming back to him. Oh, <laughs> Only two minutes left in the game. Second down and long. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new... Oh, with the brutal hit! First and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this court. Ouch! What is this? Andy's wrestling? <laughs> and it's first and ten. Another turnover, pal, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Whoa, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. <laughs> the offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. They'll be going on site here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. He broke free and has open field in front of him. They usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck, which is typically the amount the quarterback tips on dinner. And it's first and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. Ah, another interception. He's oh, with the brain scrambler. Oh, 
And it's first and ten. Revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he? Bricks wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. No, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Ah, sounds like he didn't really figure through, because you know he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they are not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, right now what day is it first and two hot, hot one hot two hot, hot. and he zips that one in there for a touchdown Kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's there? Exactly. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. And he was steering a pick six but dropped the interception. And it plays a defense, schmuck. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. At this rate, the QB is going to have no steer clear of them the mutants walk away big winners they come up big today with a solid win and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home i heard wounds taste just like chicken i was at scrambles tomato soup i forget but a good scab tastes like bacon that i know mm -mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich sounds like a picnic and the mvp is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom <laughs> with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.